This past Black Friday saw protests at several area Walmarts, as company employees and union activists joined forces to demand increased benefits and wages. Well, we're looking for better pay, stop the retaliation when workers try to come together, uh, better benefits, health benefits, they just went up. We just ask for respect that Walmart demand us as employees, not as slaves. We human beings just like everybody else. Later in the day, the Workers Organizing Committee of Chicago, a local union formed in November that says it already represents employees at 100 businesses, rallied outside Water Tower Place. The union's Fight for 15 campaign is demanding a minimum wage of $15 an hour. My message to shoppers is to look at the extravagance at the stores and then look at the faces of the employees and really see that, is, is this worth it? You know, is, is your money being spent in this place worth these employees being, um, being upset and struggling and tired and hungry at the end of the day? Even as customers, they have to get on the same page as us and understand that when they come in these stores, that they're not just buying, that they're interacting with people, human beings. Um, and, and that's what we have to see, that on every level, we are human beings. I'll put it to you like this. I've never made more than $11.91 an hour working at any retail or restaurant. The fact of the matter is, there's plenty of money that are made at these companies and they don't like to pay. You really, you really can't survive on $11 an hour. You have to choose between either you're going to pay your bill or you're going to eat. Sometimes you have to choose between eating and going to work. Fight for 15 organizers say that though they support a gradual minimum wage increase likely to begin next year, they'll continue pushing for their definition of a living wage.